Hey everybody, well, Brandon here again with part number five of my Black Friday haul and it's my TV shows I got and I finally have caught up all of my Arrowverse shows so let's get right into it. First up, we're going to go from what I think are the weakest, my least favorite Arrowverse shows to my favorite ones. And the weakest one is going to be the complete fifth season of Supergirl. Now, the only reason I think that Supergirl really is the weakest of all of the Arrowverse shows from this past season and season before season 4 is basically because it relies so much on politics and it really needs to get away from that. Just go back to, you know, Supergirl saving the day. That's all we need. But yeah, it's season 5 of Supergirl. Next up, we have season one of Batwoman. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Ruby Rose as Batwoman, but I think she did a decent job as Kate Kane slash Batwoman. I liked some of the villains and stuff, and I actually, and I really like, um, oh, she was in Birds of Prey. Uh, Rachel Sarskin. I think it's how I that's how you pronounce her name, but I'm not for sure. Birds of Prey, and I'll put a uh, picture of her up on there so you'll know who I'm talking about. But she does an extremely good villain in Alice, and I hope they keep her on for a very long time. I love the Lucius's son, Luke Fox, uh, some of the side characters, Sophie Moore, Mary Hamilton, and uh, yeah, they even name dropped Bruce Wayne, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I definitely love this, and I can't wait. I know they're recasting uh, Ruby Rose, so kind of interesting to see what season two is going to bring. So that's about woman. Then we have the complete fifth season of The Flash. Now Flash is one of my favorite Arrowverse shows. You gotta love The Flash. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, this has got the Elseworlds crossover. And this also has him, his and Iris' daughter. Which, uh, she also plays on Black Sails. She's a very good actress, in my opinion. And, uh, you have Tom Cavanaugh doing double duty in this season as Reverse Flash. One of the whales is, I think, the Council of Wells actually does appear in this, so that's pretty cool. And Cicada is the main villain in this season, so yeah, that's season five of the Flash. We got season six of the Flash that just recently came out. That was, uh. Involved with the first season of Batwoman and the fifth season of um, Supergirl and the last season of Arrow in the big Crisis on Infinite Earths. But yeah, this is besides the Crisis. They had, uh, I can't remember, I do remember Mirror Master came at the end of the season. Uh, blood work. They did with blood work. They finally... Got rid of blood work in this. Definitely one of my favorite shoes. That I like even more than the Flash. And that is of course the one that started it all. 
the seventh season of Arrow. This is the one that has when he got out of prison. This is the one where the new Green Arrow appears. And I'm not going to tell you who it is. You just have to watch it and find out. But Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do love Stephen Emile's portrayal of the Green Arrow and Grant Gustafson's um, portrayal of the Flash. They're both amazing. That's season seven. And to finally finish it off, we have the eighth and final season of Green Arrow, or the Arrow. I always call them Green Arrow, but same person. Which, you know, had the whole crisis on Infinite Earths. With the multiverse and stuff. I really hope they do the Canaries spin off of this. I do like Dinah Drank. I can't remember the characters, the actress's name, but I like her, Dinah Drank. Kate Cassidy plays a good Laurel Lance, and the woman that plays uh, Felicity's and Oliver's daughter, Mia, uh, she was in Shadowhunters, the TV show. She plays really their daughter very well. And I would love to see those three in a spinoff too. So even if it's just for one or two seasons. You know, it doesn't have to run like eight years. Just run one or two seasons and end it. Do like a limited series. Twelve episodes. But I would, I would like to see that. Just to flesh out their characters just a little bit more. And, uh, yeah. The one that started it all ended, and I think Supergirl's being canceled. So, so far, Batwoman and The Flash, really the only two left of the Arrowverse that are still on there because my favorite of the past couple of years have been DC's fifth season of Legends of Tomorrow. I love it because it embraces its silliness. And all the characters just gel well. I mean, you got characters from Arrow, Flash, you got Mick Roy, uh, Ray Palmer, Sarah Lance, uh, who else is on here? John, got freaking John Constantine. Even after they canceled his show on NBC, you got Matt Ryan to come back as John Constantine. That's awesome. It's just like the misfits of the DC Universe. And I think it's a really, really awesome idea. And, of course, they had the crisis too. But, um, I think they had a lot more fun with it. And I really did enjoy this. This is by far my favorite of this past year. And I'm really looking forward. I'm hoping John Constantine stays on there for a long time. But... I did hear that this might be coming to an end, so I really don't want this to happen, but if it does, I hope it goes out with a bang, and I think The Flash may have one more season after this, and if that's so, then we got Batwoman, which I don't see lasting above season three. And then they're making the Superman and Lois show, which I think will be good. So, besides Batwoman, we'll have Superman and Lois on for a while. That, I'm thinking, I'll give it maybe four or five years. Three, if Superman's uh, wel uh, welcome doesn't uh, go the way... Uh, DC and Warner Brothers intended on the CW, but yeah, that's my Arrowverse TV shows caught up. But most of these, I think all of these came from Best Buy except for seasons 7 and season 5 of The Flash and Arrow. 
those came from deep discount and that concludes my black friday haul for 2020 next time we'll have a review for you on christmas eve so stay tuned for that very special review so till christmas eve guys bye